Hey guys, this is Matthew. Um, haven't done a video in a couple of days. Uh, been real busy at the house. Uh, we had our home study for the adoption yesterday. And that took up pretty much all afternoon yesterday. I mean, a lot of questions. A lot of, a lot of talking and stuff but we are getting that done so we can um, fin finalize the adoption. <clears throat> um, we did not go through an adoption agency. It was a private adoption. It was actually a neighbor from the, um, from the last, lo last place that we lived at my friend's house. It was his neighbor. So we're doing, ev we're doing everything a little bit different uh, from what normal people would do it, a little bit quicker and a lot cheaper. But that's what I've been doing for the last, uh, de dealing with for a while. Um, I'm on a four day fast until the first. So I hadn't done any cooking. And so I hadn't put out a cooking video. And I'm probably, and I'm not going to put out one. See, usually I would do one tomorrow, but it's going to be another 24 hours after that. So I'm going to see how I'm feeling. I might go ahead and try and push it another day or two, but I'm just going to kind of see, see what's going on. Um, fast, fasting is, I've been, I've been using it for uh, quick, you know, sustainable weight loss and it can suck sometimes. Like my wife last night wanted me to go get her a pizza. And I said, no, I says, I says, I haven't eaten two days. I'm not going to go get you a pizza. He says, you want a pizza? You can go, you can go get it. So she ended up having some smoked sausage at the house. And it was kind of funny because, you know, kind of kiss her after that. And I was like, man, that tastes good. So, but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get as, you know, as much fasting in, um, before the beginning of next month, because I've got plans for stuff that I want to do next month where I'm going to be, I'm going to end up gaining and losing weight almost every week. So <clears throat> I've, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because I'm going to make a, an action. Uh, when I start those videos, I'll go into full detail of what I'm doing, but we have a uh, blood sugar meter that I'm going to pit to pit to use because I've been curious about a few things and it's something I don't really see on YouTube. I see people mess around with these blood sugar meters or just take, just take them normally, you know, just checking their blood sugar. But I've never seen anyone actually do comparisons in the sense of a, a regular Coke versus a Diet Coke. I mean, does Diet Coke spike your blood sugar? I have no idea. I know a regular Coke would, but, you know, I mean, people drink diet sodas because they have no calories. But do they realize... I mean, is the sugar going to affect you? Because one thing that we don't, you know, that we don't really, that we don't realize is that blood sugar activates your insulin. When, when you eat something or drink something that has sugar in it, it activates your insulin. Your insulin goes up to bring your sugar levels down, where your insulin is actually designed to store fat. It's just, I mean, it's just the way it works. That hormone keeps keeps you fat and the more that your insulin is high the more fat the more fat you're going to have and the harder it is to lose weight that's why i'm really big on keeping my my blood sugar low but at the same time i don't actually know what my blood sugar is at on an, on a daily basis so next month i'm going to be checking that i'm going to be doing blood sugar after fasting after i eat and i'm going to be testing out some foods you know i'm going to See, I'm gonna be doing be doing a lot of experiments for stuff because it's stuff I've never seen. I've never seen anyone on YouTube do some of this some of this stuff. I mean, maybe I haven't looked hard enough. I don't know, but I want to know for myself. I've done a lot of my own research, and I want to kind of put it to the test, see what it does, and take you guys along for that journey. So that's gonna. Uh, I've got all those plans written out and detailed um, back at the house. So. When I'm ready to do that, then we're gonna then we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna find out what kind of what foods actually raise your blood sugar, and and then I'll explain why it's so important um, and why certain foods 
you know, foods that we always thought was healthy aren't actually healthy. There's a reason why I stay away from yogurt. And I stay away from milk. Um, I, I stay away from uh, fruits and stuff. So, but I want to put that to the test. I want to show you exactly why. So, that's the plan for coming up here in about a week or so. And um, here in a couple of days, I'll be back on. I'll be back on track. I'm going to stop fasting, and I'm going to be doing my um, my OMAD one meal a day stuff, and we'll get back into it. So we're gonna have fun next month. Just stick around if you like what if you like what you see. You know, tell tell friends about it and stuff. I don't, I don't have social media, um, so I don't I don't have a Facebook. Maybe sometime I'll I'll explain that. I got in trouble on Facebook a long time ago and got kicked off, so I don't have a Facebook anymore. But uh, if, if you want to get into these experiments, you know, it's going to be definitely interesting. So we'll see what happens.